later. <laughs> All I can say is I feel good when I'm gardening. Yeah, man. When I'm in the soil, I'm barefoot. I'm in, I'm in Jake's food forest in Hurricane, Utah, and there's a bunch of Gamble's quail up in the up in the pine tree here, and then some. This is like a fig guild all the way through. We've got brown turkey. Uh, some Kadotas on the other side, some black mission figs, and then these are all these pomegranates right down here. Beautiful. And then, uh, yeah, I was just gonna pick um, a couple figs here. And uh, I'm gonna give a fig to Jake because he is planting some winter crops. And a fig is always nice. Here you go, brother. Here's a fig. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> that one was especially soft. I think it should. It sucked right out. Cheers. They're very sweet. Mm -hmm. And then Allie taught me with the Cabbage Family to, um, for some reason, whether it's true or not, I'm doing it. And that's just compress them a little bit. They like to be snug. And then top coat. She's gonna be happy. She is happy. How I first started getting into permaculture is coming out and just looking at how my son was traveling in the sky. Yeah. It's huge, yeah. you know? It affects so many things. So it's really about looking around and using that design science to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's broken down in so many different ways. But it's really just a design science, a way to design your um, habitat so that it prov provides for you. Um, at first for me it was about eating healthy food because I had just gotten into raw foods, superfoods, and all that stuff. I was going to Whole Foods and paying just a ton of money for like dino kale, which isn't cheap and partially organic. So when I found out about gardening, square foot gardening, which was on some of your first videos in uh, Manhattan, that you could do square foot gardening in your apartment or on a balcony. And at that time I was in a condominium um, complex and I had a small side yard and I just thought, man, I can grow my own greens at the very least. Yeah. So that's how it really started, yeah. just square foot gardening. Yeah, okay. Hmm. What I saw in that apartment, man, goodness. Mm -hmm. Is once they have their beds in place, of course, is plug and play. Yeah. And this is mycorrhizal fungi. Cool. Ingredients on the back. That, that just makes sense. A little goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Just need a little bit near the root zone. Yeah. Tickle the roots a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a. A cushy planting right there. Yeah. And then top coat with more. Jeez. It's about as good as it gets. More man. minerals. And then she's good to go. And this stuff is azomite. Yeah. That A to Z minerals, rock dust. This is about year four. I'm not, not very good. 2008? Dates, yeah. Yeah, about that. You... This is one of the first beds I planted. Okay. And then we sort of jumped out from here. And I just kept mimicking the square foot garden method, which is what I'm using now, even to plant this. Mel Bartholomew's um, spacing method, I just think it's pretty cool. <laughs> it works. <laughs> you yeah. can splice so many different plants in, so once you kind of know how big they get and how happy they are, yes. then that just really helps you to kind of understand the grid. Right. I look at it as like little farms, you know? I'm like, I'm like up in the sky looking down at my farm or my permaculture food forest, and how am I gonna design this little forest right here? Yeah. You know, and that's kind of your, your template. Yeah. And then you kind of do the same thing out here. Yeah. So. Uh, any mistakes that you have made, you know, that you've learned from, any mistakes with permaculture and planting your garden? Um, tons. <laughs> I just learned it in my backyard with the mulch layers. Um, how important mulch, mulch layers really are and um, 
with the straw and now I'm going to start migrating to more of a, a bark material, a shredded wood bark material. Yeah. And what's the name of that documentary, Anthony? I thought it was called Back to Eden. Back to Eden. It just yeah. breaks down why you want a woody top mulch layer. Yeah. So, I mean, that's just one example I can give you of badass mulch to use. This area, apples and, and you know, uh, peaches, almonds, they all seem to really do well here. And I have actually uh, tropicals in the dome. It's really just about the microclimate. But outside here, definitely most nuts. Yeah. You know, pretty much everything because we get a nice freeze here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the almonds get a really nice cold freeze, which they need. Yeah. And I've got three different strains out front there. And yeah, I've got sea buckthorn out there. It gets to negative 40. Uh huh. Um, goji, which is over in this bed, which can get to the sub zero temps. This is Asian pear right here. So we're really growing pretty much. I'm trying to see what I what there is I can't grow. Yeah. In this climate zone. How often does it rain here in the summertime? Very little. Um, so we use drips and these methods here to create a microclimate. Yeah. So with the the mulch layer and the shade cloth and hmm. coming in the daytime uh, in the early morning hours and you wet down the mulch layer, then that just creates a just perfect little microclimate. What's your biggest advice to people wanting to start gardening? Oh man, just do it. Take your shoes off. Really, that's like the best advice I could say is take your shoes off. <laughs> when you get out to your patch of earth or whatever you're working, just take it off and just just sit there if you need to and just feel, just feel for a minute. Just breathe. And that's some of the first things I did when I got into uh, gardening is I just sit there and grab a patch of earth and just breathe it and look at it and chill with it. And then as far as, um, you know, obviously you got to learn some methods. After that, books, I'd say um, Mel Barth Barth Bartholomew's book, yeah, Square Foot Gardening. Yeah. That changed my life. I mean, it's just really easy to read and it's, it breaks down gardening. And then when you're ready to learn more about food forests, I'd check out Toby Hemingway's book, Gaia's Gardening, or Gaia's Garden, sorry. Um, second edition. Yes. Because it's got a lot, probably 30, 40 more pages or something like that, and some more photos. So, and, um, game changer what? books. Um, RaiUtah.com. And um, I'm also on Facebook, uh -huh. um, Rai Utah. And we also have a page called Pure Joy Town on Facebook. And Pure Joy, Pure Joy Town .com. Don't forget the town. Because this is the town we're living in, it's Pure Joy. <laughs> <laughs> there should be a town called Pure Joy. There Someone should. should build a community called Pure Joy. I gotta throw this in there, man, because you know, I've been on all sort of uh, pharmaceuticals in my life, antidepressants, things like that. Yeah. And when I started learning about um, that, there's actually a bacteria in the soil called Micro Mycobacterium vesey, which can increase serotonin production in the brain. And when I found that out, it just little things like that help you realize like wow so that's why you feel so good when you're gardening mm. that's why you feel so good when you're in the sun and you know not yeah. much for science but i am for feel and experience yeah and all i can say is i feel good when i'm gardening yeah man when i'm in the soil I'm barefoot yep so. yeah i feel like